familiar with the abandoned building's history, know it simply as the Murder Hotel. The infamous hotel was run by a mysterious family for several generations until close to In unrelated news, the trivia murder party killer is still on the loose. Up next, wolves! This is your wake-up call. Prepare to die. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. That glowing review in Real Hotels Magazine was a fake luring you here to fight for your life. Only one of you will survive. It's all pretty standard family vacation stuff. Okay, first question. How many strikes do you need to throw to bowl a perfect game? Use your device to answer the question, and the correct answer is... Who got the question right? Which leaves only you. It's time. Welcome to Room 113. Pegs! You're going to drop down this board and try to avoid the death zones. Hmm. Someone needs to pick which slots are death zones. Go ahead, everyone else. Choose a slot to make it no bueno. Okay. Let the games begin. Ooh, I just love watching this one. Well, now I hate this game. Moving on. Just in case you like scores, here's where I keep them. Let's try another one. What was the first zero calorie soda? Picked this, which leaves only you. Come with me. Welcome to room 237. I hope you like gifts. Please accept these gifts before the cops bag them as evidence. Pick a box and keep what's inside. Don't shit. <laughs> Oh, my mother's wig. Is she... Are you? Oh, mother! I've missed you so! I'm a big boy now, mother. I'm glad you're playing my big boy game. Did you know this hotel was built on top of a graveyard, but the bodies were never moved? My great-great-grandparents insisted on it. You know, like buying a house and keeping the couch. Let's keep moving. Where was the tea bag invented? <laughs> Almost out of who picked this. The rest of you, follow me. Let's play with spooky dice. Roll as much as you want to add to your score. I'll kill the player with the lowest score. But go over 21 and you die instead. And don't forget, if they roll a skull, that adds one to everyone's score. Honestly, it's mostly just an excuse to use these cool skull dice. Time's almost up! Ooh! 
Boo! Busted! One of the most common dangers of dice is blowing up. We're not done with you yet. Okay, so... Don't freak out. But you're a ghost now. Keep playing and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game. We're here! When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round. Next question! Let's say hypothetically I have a ton of bones in my basement. What do I basically have? Running out. Uh. Who picked this? Which leaves only you. Time for consequences. It's loser wheel time. Spin. <laughs> What's more fun than watching spinning? Oh no! I never guessed that was gonna happen! <laughs> Only one of you is still alive. You know what that means. Glad to see you're the one to make it here alive, but will you be the one to escape? I'm going to give you a category. Akira Kurosawa Films. Tap each answer that fits the category and then press submit. Time is almost up. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for each correct answer. You're a little bit closer to escaping. But get this, all ghosts get to play too. If a ghost catches you, they'll steal your life force. Then they can try to escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Time is almost up. World of Warcraft playable classes. U.S. Monopoly Streets. Don't fall behind. It's only darkness. Melissa McCarthy movies. Time is almost up. I hope you win, mother. and rice novels. Old Testament books. Went down like bowling pins. Enjoy oblivion in the darkness. Winners of RuPaul's Drag Race. Time is almost up. You can't 
can't leave me, mother! Animals statistically likely to outlive a moose. I gotta get some harder questions. This will slow you down. You need a perfect answer for your final escape. And that includes the third answer choice now, too. Hello again, Mother. Congrats on beating my game, but I'm starting to suspect that maybe you're not my real mother, and that would be bad. So I have one more question for you. How much did it cost to buy a hamburger when you went to the first McDonald's franchise in 1955? Come on, Mom, if that is your real name. Hurry up. Uh. Let's see if you're really my mom. Good work. I never really doubted you for a second, mother. Bye-bye. <laughs> Rest up.